I can't believe I've lived in the States for four years now. In many ways, I still feel like I just got here, but I know I've also adjusted a lot, so today I want to show you a week in my life as an international student. Good morning, we are doing adulting things today, like getting a New York State ID because mine expired and I have to go renew it. So we got the card. I'm heading to the DMV today so I can register for that. It's also super helpful to get a ID and you can actually do this as a foreigner. So like me, I'm on an F1 visa here as a student and I can actually get this ID so I don't have to lug my passport around anymore as my main form of verification so this is so helpful if you have a valid passport visa you can look all this up on the dmv website you can apply it for a non-driver id and guys this has been game changing game changing <laughs> so some of you might be wondering why is this game changing well for one you can use it to buy drinks if you're of legal age of course my senior year of college when i turned 21 my friends and i would go out to bars and i had to keep bringing my passport a document as valuable as this is not something i want to be carrying around to a bar now i also had a driver's license but because it was foreign it wasn't always accepted as a valid form of id now, on a practical level, a state ID is super helpful because you can use it to open bank and brokerage accounts. I've also used it for renting cars, and in any situation, I need a second form of ID. And honestly, I find life has been so much smoother because it's a local state ID that people recognize and are more familiar with. Otherwise, when I bring my Philippine driver's license or passport, people get confused. They have to check with managers to see if they can accept it and sometimes they'll actually get rejected. But since I got a New York State ID, I have not had any more issues like this, and I 10 out of 10 would recommend getting one. It's $5 and very convenient. I don't, I don't miss being a student, and I never even really felt like I was fully a student because all of college, I've always been doing like YouTube, I've yeah, always yeah. been starting some uh -huh. side project, like uh -huh. we're not creatives first yeah. two years and yeah. then I believe last two yeah. years. So all of that really changed as uh -huh. I dropped really academic. Yeah. yeah, I dropped studying yeah. and then replaced it with like adulting. Uh -huh. <laughs> like <laughs> to go to DMV, uh -huh. meal prep, the uh -huh. groceries, uh -huh. budget, like uh -huh. all of that. Yeah. Like life. Like, life. Yeah, life thing. Life thing. Yeah. Life thing. Oh, let's go. Okay. Yeah. And we are back to work editing a youtube video and it's kind of meta right now because i'm doing a voiceover for a video clip or i'm doing a different voiceover for another video and it's even funnier because i am wearing the exact same thing and i'm not even ashamed minimalism has been one of my favorite lifestyle choices it has cleared my headspace to focus on things that matter to me because i don't have to make decisions about things i care less about like what I wear, and it literally doesn't even matter because I'm home most of the day. But yeah, if you watch my videos, you probably know I only wear this or my black hoodie, and I am proud of it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, it is a new morning now, and first things first, we gotta cook. I've made it a goal to cook most of my meals because it saves money and I wanna get better at cooking. My friend gave me this instant pot, and I recently discovered that you could steam dumplings in seven minutes. So let's just say I have been eating a lot of dumplings recently. After lunch, my friend and I went recycling because she had some plastic bottles that she had collected, so we stopped by the redemption center at Wegmans. I think it's called the bottle bill, where technically when you buy a bottle of a drink, you pay a 5 cent deposit, which you can later get back if you return the container empty. This is so cool. It's my first time doing this. It's such a great system. Back home, we do not have the system, so it was really cool for me to see an organized recycling initiative like this. It's so organized. Wow, you really win on this little bottle. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Okay, I, don't I don't think it's part of... Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> nice try though, nice try. 
you can then use that amount as a coupon at the store so because my friend had a hundred bottles she got five dollars and fifty cents back and then bought herself a slice of cake okay now i'm grocery shopping at aldi's and i have a question for you what is the food that when your fridge is out of prompts you to go to the grocery for me it's vegetables when i'm out of kale or spinach or any greens i will go to the store asap or fruits just some food for thought <laughs> literally because i think it says a lot about what foods you value i'm curious comment it below it is 10 50 p.m aka my bedtime it is way past my bedtime but my friend is coming in today from california oh my gosh so i'm actually gonna go pick her up at the airport right now and let's go get her we are at the airport also why is it snowing i don't even know if i can get to the baggage let's Believe it or not, but Ithaca actually has its own airport. They call it international, but I think that's because they were trying to go to Canada, but they don't even have flights to Canada right now. It was newly renovated, so it's pretty nice, I've got to say. It's got one of everything you need, which is kind of the theme of Ithaca. You got the ticketing over there, you got some cafe and a waiting area, and then you got TSA there, and then when people arrive, they come out here, you got bathrooms, baggage claim over there, and that's about it. I gotta say. Yeah, Dude, yeah. the snow in the car. The Super Bowl is a huge thing in America. It's basically an unofficial holiday celebrating the final playoff game for the National Football League. Now, I had never watched the Super Bowl before coming to the States, let alone known how to play American football. But over the years, I started to pick up the tradition where you gather with friends, family, order pizza, drink beer, and in between games, rank the ads and enjoy the halftime show. <laughs> All right, well, now that the game's over, I'm gonna get ready to sleep. This was honestly the most fun Super Bowl experience I've had, and I hope you get to spend time with people you love too. Thank you for watching and love you guys. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs>